City by City is presented by Carl F. Bucherer, fine Swiss watchmaking. Dubai, one of the seven city-states of the United Arab Emirates, and certainly the most celebrated, is one of the most renowned travel destinations in the world. Much has been said of its exploding growth, extreme shopping, and ostentatious displays of wealth. But the true allure of this ultra-modern city can be attributed, at least partially, to the blend of extravagance with authentic regional characteristics and natural beauty. This creates not just a luxury vacation opportunity or fortuitous business trip, but a worthy cultural experience. Dubai is known for its many malls, souks and markets, some specialising in specific goods such as gold, textiles, spices or antiques. One place not to miss is the Souk Madinat Jumeirah, a traditional style Arabic market offering a wide variety of regional arts and goods. Here, under beautiful wooden arch ceilings, you can soak in the atmosphere, wandering from shop to shop, discovering everything from souvenirs and trinkets to clothing, perfume and carpets. about excess, how many desert cities offer something like this? Escape the heat, grab a sweater and hit the slopes. Here inside the famous Mall of the Emirates, be transported over artificial slopes to the top of an alpine wonderland. Try your hand at downhill cruising or treat the kids for a host of winter activities. There are numerous shopping and eating opportunities to be found in the mall and adjacent Kapinski Hotel, but who in this community can resist kicking back and resting those tired bones in an almost authentic appraised ski lodge? In Dubai, with innumerable luxury hotel possibilities to choose from, a wonderful, more personable alternative is La Maison d'Hôte. Here, one can quietly enjoy the beauty of Arabian style and architecture, complemented by the hospitality and personal touch of its French owner. We try to offer the same services as a four-star hotel, actually, but in a, in a small place with a face-to-face -face service. Rooms are individually decorated with authentic fabrics and unique furniture, each inspired by a different Middle Eastern or South Asian culture and all adding to the stylish yet tranquil atmosphere of this perfect hideaway retreat. It started out 12 years ago as a beachside shack. Today, under gentle swaying palms and shady thatched roofs, Barasti attracts patrons of all ages, tastes and nationalities and is one of Dubai's most popular watering holes. More casual than so many of Dubai's social hotspots, Barasti is still a place to see and be seen. Enjoy the sunset from the multiple meandering outdoor decks or head upstairs for a more traditional bar scene with live music. If you walk around here tonight, you'll see beautiful girls in short skirts and, and high heels. You'll see people in local dress smoking shisha. 
You'll see children accompanied by their parents, and you could even see a 90-year-old woman upstairs listening to the band and enjoying a nice fish and chips. We probably have about four or 5,000 guests from the opening to the closing of the day. The kitchen serves a great and varied sustenance from burgers and fish and chips to their popular weekend Arabic barbecue. Enjoy fresh grilled kebabs in the open air, perhaps poolside or stick around for dancing and assorted mayhem. Whether it's kicking back or looking for action, Barasti is a fun and unpretentious bet for all. We are in Dubai, however, and this evening we do not dare ignore the city's upscale dining scene. Located in the Jumeirah Emirates Towers, the very popular Al Nufora serves high-end Lebanese cuisine in an elegant and sophisticated setting. In the kitchen, the Lebanese staff do their magic, including baking their own breads and, of course, preparing fabulous, authentic dishes. We work as one team, and all the team here is Lebanese from uh, Lebanese people from Lebanon. Lebanese food, you have to order a lot of food just to taste a little bit from everything. Specializing in hot and cold meza or appetizer dishes, as well as inventive main courses, Al Nufora offers a refined blend of the traditional with the modern, all of which you'll have to agree is quite pleasing to behold. Even during slow economic times, Dubai's reputation for luxury remains. And fortunately, this modern city built on the edge of the desert continues to intrigue. Just don't leave without exploring what lies beyond its sometimes brassy facade. And of course, spending a pleasant day at the beach. City by City is presented by Carl F. Bucherer, fine Swiss watchmaking. All original shows, all in HD, from onnetworks.com.